Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. Cut away, sir. Hey, that's good then. Friends, family, and characters random. To bring you joy and laughter in tandem. To divert and dazzle is our intention. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. Oh, I love summer. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh my God, that is real. No, total fake. Th that's totally oh, a real. That that is totally fake. Look at the way it walks. That's that's open open your walks. Mind. Why would totally somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? You know what you're saying, Peter? Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Don't live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! Thanks, Quagmire. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I gotta kill you right here! Uh, hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Oh, careful. Watch out there, Brian. Looks like the floor is wet. Excuse me, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I've been a little distracted lately. I think my wife has been crossing the street with another man. God, I hope Alan doesn't find out. Hey, forget that klutz. And getting rid of the government has been the best thing to happen around here in a long time. That's right. Without government, I'm free to take a lot of mescaline and drive to Vegas. Wait till you see Debbie Reynolds on stage. Yeah, and now my Spanish teacher and I can finally hold hands in the halls. Meg, donde esta la biblioteca? because I'm gonna bang you in the biblioteca. I am going down to that rally tomorrow, and I am joining the tea party. Oh, wait, that's the same time as my men's knitting club. Although they have been really critical lately. You're still not knitting honestly, Peter. You're, you're knitting like you want us to like you. It's not coming from inside. It's very superficial. Thank you! You've made my decision easier! Yes, that! Knit that! <laughs> Where is this girl? Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? I faked my death and went AWOL. <gasps> I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. We now return to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, edited for goats. Marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm fine by myself. I'll just watch my Patrick Swayze movie and take a two full bath. Aw, oh, now I want to be on that side. Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. We now return to the Super Friends Accountant. 
Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the super friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not going to be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. I hear. Carol, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't just jump right back in it. Lois, this is my life, and this is what I want. I will marry you, Mayor Adam West. Oh, great. I can't wait to tell the gals of my singles group. Ah, oh, come on. This is the goal, isn't it? Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Hajimemashite! Here comes a black guy! Sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! <laughs> Woo! Hey, guys. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? I did something terrible. Ah, oh, hey, we've all done terrible things. Attention, everyone. The plane is sinking, so I need you all to proceed onto the floating slide. Dear airplane people, I owe you one floating slide. And just so you know, the guy stewardess was angry gay, not happy gay. What does it say? Nothing. Just instructions and stuff. Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the bat cave. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation-worthy. <laughs>